Hello everyone, it's me again. So today I am going to do a little review on things that I've been melting. Um, unfortunately, it's not a lot and do bear with me because I like never done review videos or anything like that. I suck at them. So anyways, um, let's just get started. So we are going to do the single ones first. And then this is just from when I first got started with candles and wax tarts. And I want to say it was when I first did my Gracie Joe's um, video. Uh, now for Gracie Joe's, um, they do smell good. But after a while, when like how I store them, they all start smelling alike. And you don't really get that much of a scent throw. So I won't be ordering from her. Again, some scents are stronger than others. But I just, I mean, it was my first time ordering from a vendor. So... I don't know. I really didn't like it, to be honest. So, um, Audra, I heart wax, and I, well, I sent her a gift, and for whatever reason, she felt obligate, oblig, obligate, oh my god, I can't talk. She felt obligated to send me a gift. So, in her gift, I had a strawberry milk by, um, Candles from the Kipping Room, and this was amazing. It smelled like the strawberry quick with like vanilla ice cream um, I am going to place an order with them because I like I mean there's nothing here and you and the smell is so strong the scent is so strong it's still there so then I've been melting quite a few of my favorite which is front porch and this one was ultimate bakery and i really like this scent it smells like a bakery like all kinds of different bread notes but it's subtle and it's just so so delicious and like i i cannot stress enough how much i love fruit and bakery scents they're just my favorite and another one from front porch is pink peppermint oh my goodness this is just like a phenomenal scent and I I can't even describe it it was just so delicious it was like I don't know like when I first started melting it like the first 30 minutes I would get pink and then peppermint and then after an hour you can smell like those two different scents it's like it was really really good so I liked it, but the only problem with um, front porch, I noticed that I have to melt them by twos or by one and a half in order to get like a strong scent throw. And sadly, they to for me they only last about I want to say three and a half hours. But I mean during those three and a half hours. Um, like studying cleaning doing what I have to do and once I I'm getting ready to go I mean when my husband comes home he it's the how the room is clean the house is clean and it's it smells really good so yeah and then the, another one another one that I enjoy during the night is sweet dreams oh my gosh this is like a, a sweet like a lavender with I don't know it's just like a lavender and a vanilla and a hint of pink that's what I get I don't know about you guys so yeah that one's really good and gone nuts I just oh my god I really really enjoyed this scent it smells like butter pecan um butter pecan ice cream and specifically haagen -Dazs. I know you guys are probably like how does she smell ice cream I don't know to me like when I open the butter pecan from haagen -Dazs, I get this sweet creamy like 
pecan scent. I don't know. This is what it reminds me of. So, yeah. And then over here, I have another Gone Nuts. Like I said, I have to melt them, melt them by two or like one and a half. And then next, we are moving to Yankee Tarts. So the first one we have here is True Rose. This one does smell like roses. And I melted this on, I actually for this one, I really, really do remember the date. It was on December 12th, which uh, some of us Hispanics believe in Virgin Mary, and I am one of them. So I had a, I put a bouquet of roses because I have her picture up there. And what I did is I fixed the wall with like artificial roses and then right there I cleaned it. And then I had my tart warmer there and I had flowers on the corner for her. So yeah, it smelled pretty good. And then for the holidays, I was melting frosted cinnamon, which this is really strong on cinnamon. It smells like cinnamon punch. It's really good. And then red velvet, which smells like chocolate icing. I really enjoyed this one. Um, and then this was a Yankee Candle Voltive, and it was um, cookies for Santa. And this was a bummer, a waste of my $1.99. Um, I didn't get any Centro whatsoever, so this one I will not be repurchasing. And all these over here I will. Next, I melted my breakfast at Tiffany's, and I, mel I cut this one in fours. And it was just amazing. It smelled like waffles and syrup. Everybody was like, it smells like waffles and syrup at your house. And I was like, I know. And I'm not even cooking. <laughs> but it was really, really good. I really enjoyed this. Tiffany, if you're watching, this is one of my favorite scents from you by far. And then, so now we are moving to... Um, Scentsy and the one I was melting was Dulce de Leche I really really enjoyed this one as well as my family it's creamy caramel reminds me of Starbucks caramel frappuccino um, it was really 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 good I really enjoyed this one I recommend this one for those that like coffee caramelish scents this is a must have I love it and I have another one. I have a full pack. Now we are moving to Better Homes and Gardens. Wildberry Cheesecake is very, very popular here in my house. Uh, both my mother-in-law and I love this. And my kids melt this in their room. And they like it because it lasts longer. And um, they only have to put one cube. And we melted on, they melted on their Scentsy warmer so it lasts longer. And if they want to change the scent, they just pour it back gently. I supervise them, of course. And they really like this one. So it smells like cheesecake. It, it's my favorite from Better Homes and Gardens. And then I was also melting vanilla buttercream cupcake, which smells like, like a vanilla cupcake. cupcake. And it smells like frosting as well, which I really, really enjoyed it. It's bakery. Hello. My favorite from Sensationals is banana nut bread. This smells like a banana nut bread muffin. Oh my God. I really, really enjoy banana nut bread scents. This, I went and bought um, 10 of these about three days ago. It says limited edition, so I bought 10. So I have a lot of them in stock. So that's that. And then from Bath and Body Works, I really enjoyed Pumpkin Caramel Latte. Um, and that song is on repeat for whatever reason. And it was really, really good. I really enjoyed this. It did smell exactly like a caramel. A pumpkin caramel latte. I loved it. And the one my husband really, really enjoyed was peppermint mocha. So I was melting, I was burning this. And within the first 
30 minutes that it was burning, my husband comes inside and is like, what are you eating? And I'm like, it's my candle. So I have, I think, three of these left because he really likes it. And then I was melting this one only from when I take baths. When I do my Lush cocktails, it's lavender vanilla and it's from aromatherapy. The only thing that sucked is that at towards the end it did kind of do a little canyon thing, but I enjoyed it. It, it was it's very very relaxing, so I like that. And then I also melted cider lane, which it smells good to me. It smells like leaves. Le leaves and cider lane smell the same. There's something on this candle. All right, stupid dust bunny. But again, I really really enjoyed this candle, but it kind of left quite a lot in here but it's okay I still have three more and the problem with this one was that someone came over and they were playing with the wax so that's why it turned out like this and then my son was uh, burning summer boardwalk it smells like toffee crunch it's a really really nice caramel scent so in here in this household everybody likes caramel chocolate and bakery again another aromatherapy stress relief um, I was burning this for my husband from whenever he took baths to relax after a long day at work and the hot tub so I got him that and then I was melting twisted peppermint and my restroom which for this candle to be really little it kind of did give a good centro and then cinnamon sugar donut I was melting this as well I also melted a three wick in my room and it smells like a, a donut it smelled really really good I really enjoyed it so from Yankee Candle I had this one that I was burning in November and I really didn't get a scent throw so I'm gonna try again later I mean on cold sniff I like that it smells kind of like fruits so I like that and then I have the Laura Dean the Paula Dean sorry blueberry tart uh, to me it smells like better homes wild berry cheesecake give me one second like I said, it smells like Better Homes and Gardens Wild Berry Cheesecake, but Better Homes and Gardens is actually way better than this candle. I will not be purchased, repurchased anything of Paula Deen. My friend got some of her wax melts and the cubes, she didn't like them. This candle, there's like a canyon all over it. It smells good on Centro, but once I start burning it, it just smells like burnt. The... Target candle, the sweet spun sugar. I've been melting this one. And it smells like cotton candy. I really, really, really like it. It smells good. It's not that strong. Um, I think I need to melt too in order to get a, a strong, strong scent throw. But um, the kids like it. They say they can smell it. It's They like it, so you know why not and then the next one I have is Jack Frost which on cold sniff it smells like horchata which is rice drink and peppermint but again when I burn it I don't get nothing at all and not e the kids don't even smell it so there's that and then I have the lemon meringue this one smells like lemon meringue pie it smells really good and I really really enjoy this one and I just started melting this one yesterday so I'm sorry if I rushed through this video but yeah this is all I've been melting and I just wanted to share with you um, if you guys have any questions or comments don't forget to write them down below and thank you for watching and I hope you guys have an amazing weekend and I will talk to you guys later bye bye